Modern universities are large, complex places with a lot of different administrative units. And you don't need, as an undergraduate student, to understand all of that. But it is useful to understand some of the major components that impact your time as a student. So I want to talk about a few of these. I want to talk about your college, your department, and your major, big, middle, and small. So to begin with, um, the difference between a university and college is a very slippery one. It is sufficient to say that large universities usually have a number of different colleges. Now colleges are functional units. They're ways of bringing together resources, sharing lab space, bringing together related scholars or, or thinkers or practitioners. Um, so that you might have a college of engineering that has a whole bunch of different types of engineers. Our College of Arts and Sciences, uh, which brings together a wide range of different types of social sciences, humanities. Uh, here at the University of Washington, we have a new College of the Environment. The idea being that in order to study the environment, it was useful to bring together scholars, thinkers, practitioners, students around the environment. So these are large units, large bits and pieces. Within colleges, we have departments. Now, departments um, you know, have some relationship to the study of the object, right? So I had an undergraduate degree in communication. I went and got a graduate degree in communication. And then I was hired in another department of communication. These were very different departments, but they shared a common tongue, the research of communication. So colleges have a number of these different types of departments. An engineering college might have uh, computer science and engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, but these different departments that are bound together by their study of engineering. College of Arts and Sciences, we would have communication, my field, we would have biology, dance history, a whole range. But departments are sort of the way in which we're bringing together the academic study. Finally, we get to your major. This is sort of the lived reality of your time as a student. Now, if it's not a very large department, maybe the department and the major are one and the same thing. But in many cases, we see departments having multiple majors. So if you're in a department of biology, you might study general, get a major in general biology. You might study physiology. Uh, in some cases, you could get a Bachelor of Arts in biology or a Bachelor of Science in biology. Those are two different major tracks. Um, in communication, we've got a general communication major, but we also have a journalism major within our communication program. So departments have different majors. Why go into all of this? You don't need to memorize it all. But it's to suggest that your major is where it is by deliberate design. And understanding that can help you when it comes time to sign up for classes or pick a major. Um, the requirements for your major weren't by chance. Experts in that field said, if you are going to be a historian, here are things we think you must know in order to be a good historian. Uh, beyond those major requirements, you've got other requirements impacted by the college. So the college said, before you get to your specialization, your major, here's a general uh, approach to knowledge that you need to have. So uh, you don't need to memorize this, but it is useful to understand the different divisions at a large modern university. Hopefully this makes it a little bit easier when it comes time to sign up for a major or to sign up for classes.